Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing this look right here, which is a smoked out bottom lower lash line with a nice electric purple. I know that typically you would picture this look being more springtime appropriate, but I got some new shadows from Urban Decay and they're so pigmented and beautiful and I was playing around and this look happened, so I just decided to film it for you guys because I loved it so much. And why not wear purple in the fall? You can play with the lip look here. I kept things very simple because I really wanted the purple to pop out. And it matches my background. So if you guys want to learn how to get this look, then keep watching. So I already applied foundation and concealer and I used Too Faced Born This Way and for concealer I used Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. I just used this for the first time today and I can already tell you I am gonna love this. I look bright, I look glowy, I just, I love it so much. I have not contoured yet, but I did set my concealer with the Kat Von D shade in light palette. So I wanna jump into this eye look. First, I'm gonna start by priming my lids. I'm using Urban Decay's Primer Potion. For this eye look, I'm starting out with the Naked Basics palette. And it's basically a palette of all matte neutral shades. It's a really great palette to use to start your looks. And I'm gonna take the shade Naked 2 and I'm gonna use that as my transition shade. So I'm just applying that all over my crease with a fluffy brush. And once I have the color applied, I'm just kind of turning the brush in circular motions to really spread out the color. And you can build this color if you want to whatever the desired level of pigment that you're looking for. Next, I'm going to go right over that with the shade Faint, which is this darker brown shade here. And I'm taking my Sigma E25 and I'm just gonna go right directly over the transition shade. With my Sigma E56 and Urban Decay Single Shadow and Half Baked, I'm gonna just pack that all over the lid. I love how pigmented and foiled this looks without even having to apply Studio Fix or Fix Plus. Just right out of out of the container, it looks so shimmery. I'm gonna kinda go into my inner corner a little bit because it's such a shimmery shade. The next with a pointy brush, I'm using the 231 from Zueva. I'm gonna go back into that brown color, the one we used here in our crease, and I'm just gonna kind of carve out that crease a little bit more. This will clean up any of the half-baked that got into the crease. And it will just define it just a little more. So I'm going to be using Urban Decay's Single Shadow and Flash, and this is such a pretty purple color. I'm going in with the Sigma Flat Definer Brush, and I'm going to just start applying this to my lower lash line. With my Zueva 231, and kind of go over it deepen the color and also to bring it down a little bit more. You can use a pencil brush for this, but I 
just don't have mine in front of me, so that's why I'm doing it this way. Okay, so once I have my level of purpleness, I'm gonna go in with the Lancome Dramatic Liqui Pencil, and the shade is called Ampoule, and it's a nice purple shade, and the thing that is great about these pencils is they're a gel in a pencil form. So they're really creamy and they really uh, blend well. But I'm actually gonna do what I almost never do, which is I'm gonna go into the waterline with this. And because it's purple, it won't shrink my eyes too much. I usually never put black in my waterline because of that reason, because it really does shrink your eyes and I want my eyes to be open and bright and awake. But with this, it's not gonna do that. It's literally going to just make the purple stand out a little bit more. And I'm not going all the way in to my tear duct. I am only staying to the outer kind of three quarters, but see how much of a difference that made? It just kind of made it a little bit more vibrant. And then this pencil is called Le May. It's also a Lancome one, and it's kind of just like a like a highlight color. It's like a champagne-y. And I'm just gonna apply that right in to the space on the bottom that I didn't apply purple. So I'm gonna be drawing a wing today, and I'm using Marc Jacobs Magic Marker. I talked about this in my favorites video, and I really love this pen. So I'm just gonna start by drawing the line out towards my brow and then I will connect it but I don't actually connect it directly I actually will kind of go parallel to my my lid because I want my eyeliner to be a little bit thicker so I'll show you what I mean so I start like maybe a little bit parallel and I'll connect that up like that and then I just fill that in so that's the wing and now I will kind of bring that all to the lash line like that and then just a little bit just for some definition I'm going to put liner in the inner quarter of my eye but I don't like to put it too thick there because it does kind of close your eyes like in it'll make your eyes look a little smaller and like I said I like my eyes to be open and awake and I also like more of an almond shape. Um, so I draw a very thin line there. So now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so once that is where I want it to be, I'm going to curl my lashes. And I'm going to add falsies. Today I'm using House of Lashes in Bambi. Okay, the glue is still drying on these lashes, but I've decided that I don't like the way they look at all. The thing with the Bambi lashes, they stick out a little straight and they don't curl. And they also don't... I want something that elongates a little bit, and these don't. So I'm going to pull them off and I'm going to switch them out. I'm going to be using... Mink Lashes by Lash Bunny. Okay, these lashes are 100 times better. So now I'm gonna move on to the contour. So I'm going back to my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette, and I'm gonna take this lighter contour shade here, and I'm using my Real Techniques 301 contour brush, and I'm just going to carve out my cheek area And then I'm gonna use this brush because it's a flat brush. I'm gonna just use it to sort of 
blend the color down. And it really creates like the perfect line. It's clean, it's not kind of bleeding into this part here. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And once I have that blended sufficiently, I'm going to go in with this darker, this darker shade and I'm going to mix it with the middle shade and I'm going to use that to warm up my face. So I'm going to start on the forehead and bring it down along the edges of my face and my jaw. And then I'm going to drag it down the neck. And then just to kind of contour, to add some depth to the contour, I'm just kind of go going over just the, just the inner part here. For blush, I'm using the Borghese Blush and Stunner. It's the only blush I've been using since I got it several months ago. And I'm gonna apply it with my Sigma F10. I'm just popping that on the apples and kind of dragging it into the contour. For highlighter, I am using Champagne Pop by Becca, and I am applying with the Zoeva 129 fan brush. I'm not sure I will ever find a highlighter I love more than this one. And then with my finger, I'm gonna apply it to my Cupid's bow. I like to go all the way up that little area under the nose. And then I will take my MAC 224 and I like to apply it right in this inner corner here. It's not the inner corner of your eye, it's sort of the inner corner of your nose. And it just picks up light in such a pretty way. And then if you want to, you can go over your brow bone with it as well, just lightly. For the lips, I am lining with Sephora's pencil in Nude Beige. And I just like to fill my lips in with this. And then I'm using Too Faced lipstick in Naked Dolly. And then with MAC Whirl, I'm going to just line the outer part. And I kind of decided I want to contour a little bit. So I'm just gonna do that. For gloss, I'm using Buxom Full On Lip Polish in the shade Danny. It's like a purpley pink shade. And that's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.